Alright, a new video, a new year. I am the creator of Mixed Martial Arts, and these are the best MMA fighters of 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, we're up to the next level. A new logo, a new design, and new animations. We're about to go pro style on this one. Let's do this! Thanks to Reef Design by hooking me up with some awesome animations. For more info, check the link in the description. So, what an awesome year we had with incredible fights, insane knockouts, ridiculous comebacks, gruesome nose jobs, horrifying chokes, unexpected slams, and much, much more. Without further ado, these are the best fighters of 2019. When making this video, I first thought about making a top 5. Number 1 was an easy choice for me. They stood so much out for me this year that I thought, hey, why not make only a video focused on the best fighters of 2019. So without further ado, number 1. Yes, I chose two fighters. One has for me the knockout of the year, the other the fight of the year. One probably has the biggest fight of the year, the other the biggest crowd of the year. I'm of course talking about Jorge Masvidal and Israel Adesanya. You can say Israel won the real undisputed UFC belt, yet Masvidal won the BMF belt. Their performances were simply incredible this year, so let's start to recap their incredible achievements in 2019. Jorge Masvidal Masvidal is undoubtedly at number one. A true born fighter, Masvidal was often involved in street fights from a young age. Yes, he fought one of Kimbo Slice's protégés on YouTube and defeated his ass. And probably a lot more that weren't on YouTube. And he of course holds the record for the fastest grown shot in UFC history. Yep, that really happened. Anyway, after a 16 month layoff, Masvidal faced Darren Till in 2019. Although dropped in the first round, he went on to win the fight via knockout in the second round. The win also earned Masvidal his second fight of the night and third performance of the night bonus awards. Knocking out one Englishman out cold wasn't enough for Jorge Masvidal. While doing an interview backstage, Leon Edwards walked by off screen and provoking Masvidal somehow. Don't just don't do that to Game Brad. This guy is the real deal and when he comes at you with his hands behind his back, he means business. Fighting business. And then happened the infamous three piece with a soda. Perhaps Michael Bisping summed it up best at the end of the clip. Wow. So later on that year, Masvidal faced the undefeated Ben Askren. Ben Askren had 22 wins and 0 losses, defeating his opponents with his insane grappling skills. And when he faced Masvidal, then happened what probably should be the knockout of the year. Boom! With a flying knee in the first 5 seconds, the fastest knockout in UFC history. Boom! And another shot. That were super necessary, of course. He shot himself at super stardom. I can watch that over and over again. What a ridiculous knockout. Later on that year, Nate Diaz himself, after defeating Anthony Pettis, he called out Jorge Masvidal, calling it the defense of his BMF belt, and the UFC actually realized this. What I really like about this build up of this fight, they truly respected each other, uh, yet this was the biggest fight of the year, meaning you don't need to trash talk to get a big fight like this. They hyped up this fight with the incredible fights both fighters already had and everybody was tuning in to see this fight. 
Masvidal was putting on a masterclass on Nate Diaz that night with some amazing striking display. The end of the fight was a bit of a lackluster at first. He won the fight via technical knockout via doctor stoppage between rounds 3 and 4. When the cage side doctor determined a cut over Diaz's right eye and rendered him unable to continue. While the decision was controversial amongst fans, while seeing the replay and seeing that almost his entire eyebrow was off, people were agreeing, alright, maybe this was a good time to stop this fight. Let's keep his eye in his eye socket. Dana White summed up the fight pretty well by saying it was basically a street fight tonight. Let's continue towards Israel Adesanya. Israel was born in Lagos, Nigeria. He was heavily bullied during his high school years and attributes the mistreatment he experienced to his decision to pursue martial arts later in life. After being inspired by the Muay Thai film Ong Bak at the age of 18, Adesanya started training in kickboxing. When he was 21, Adesanya moved to Auckland, New Zealand and began training under Eugene Behrman at City Kickboxing. As a former glory middleweight contender and kick in the ring two-time cruiserweight and heavyweight champion, this all making Adesanya's UFC debut highly anticipated. His rise in the UFC is one of the greatest in the history, often being compared to Conor McGregor and John Jones. In 2018, he fought four times in the UFC, earning three Performance of the Night bonus awards and won the Breakthrough Fighter of the Year at the World MMA Awards. In the start of 2019 came the fight against the living legend Anderson the Spider Silva. He is a former UFC middleweight champion and holds the record for the longest title reign in UFC history. Numerous mixed martial arts analysts have named Silva the greatest mixed martial artist of all time. For different reasons, it was an emotional fight for both guys. For Silva, being at the end of his career, fighting the future of the division. For Adesanya, fighting his idol that brought him to the MMA game. The build up to this fight was one of mutual respect. The fight was totally badass and had some awesome moments for the both of them. It was an incredible display of striking skills that showed that Silva still had something left in the tank and there was clear mutual respect and admiration during the fight. It was high level stuff and both fighters were doing it all with a lot of flair and swag. Enjoy some of these amazing highlights. Eventually earning Adesanya the win by unanimous decision. This fight earned him the Fight of the Night award. And Dana White said it best, saying the fight was like a kung fu movie. With Whitaker injured, Adesanya faced Calvin Gastelum for the interim UFC middleweight championship. For me guys, this is the fight of the year. Just a glorious war. After four incredible back and forth rounds, it was even on the scorecards. Both guys had landed huge shots, both guys had been hurt, but still pushed through. Adesanya described his mindset going into the fifth round, talking about fighting into an other level of darkness, saying he's actually willing to die right then and there. The final round was vicious, both laying it all on the line. Though Adesanya was able to pick it up on another level. In the dying moments, Adesanya went for the kill, scoring two knockdowns in the last seconds of the fight. The fight could have been stopped at the end. To me, this was a fitting ending, giving also Calvin Gastelum a ton of credit for fighting like an absolute warrior. Check out the reaction of Luke Thomas. I like this one the most. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Check his channel for sure for some awesome authentic MMA knowledge. Check the link in the description.
Then it all came together to unify and fight for the undisputed UFC middleweight belt. Facing Robert Whittaker, an absolute monster. He tore to the middleweight division, winning eight fights in a row, beating the then seemingly unbeatable Joel Romero twice in insane wars, both being fight of the year candidates. In front of a record crowd of more than 57,000 people, Israel had one of the greatest walks, I mean, dance to the octagon. What a showman this guy is. I most like it because all of this is generally the way Adasanya is. His awesome walkout showed the confidence of a true champ who was enjoying the roller coaster ride. In an interview back in 2018 with Ariel Helwani, Adesanya actually predicted this fight to happen for the middleweight belt. Israel always had the aura of a guy who knew something we didn't. In the lead up to this, he seemed to already know he was the best middleweight in the world. In the fight itself, Adesanya knocked Whitaker out in the first round. If not for the bell, it could have been stopped. In the second round, again he showed his superior striking, defeating Whitaker by knockout to become the undisputed UFC middleweight champion. So he actually knocked him out twice! Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it. It would take some getting used to doing the voiceover. I'm simply learning along the way. I'm planning to be a lot more active. So stay tuned for more upcoming videos. If you guys liked the video, subscribe and like. And if you have some awesome ideas for other MMA videos, comment below and let me know. Chalas!